In this video, we're going to be tying the game changer fly. This fly is tied on the articulated fish spine shanks from Fish Skull. So we're going to start with the smallest size shank. There's uh, four different size shanks uh, in here. So we're going to start uh, at the back of the fly with the, the smallest one. We're going to place it in our vise. And I'm just going to take some white thread and I'm going to close the gap of that shank. Now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take some minnow body wrap and I'm going to take some of the uh, UV white but it comes in two colors. It comes in UV white and uh, pearl, UV pearl. Either one is uh, perfectly fine. The UV white kind of has a little bit of blue and purple hues to it, kind of a UV look. And all we're going to do is we're just going to tie this in right at the back of the, the shank of the hook. And this stuff kind of comes on a big, a big rope. And all we're going to do is we're going to wrap this onto our shank. And I'm just going to place one wrap right in a front of the other. I'm just going to work my way forward. This stuff is pretty easy to work with. And then I'm just going to get to the, the eye of that shank. I'm just going to capture it with my with my thread. I try not to trap too many of these fibers here. Then you can trim out the excess. And we can just tie it off. And at this point you can whip finish and uh, usually I'll add some glue to the head just to kind of keep everything in place and keep it from falling apart. This tail section is probably the most difficult section of the fly to tie on just because that shank is so short. And then at this point you can give it a quick brush. This will just kind of help blend all those fibers together. On the rope you can see they're all kind of individual little pieces sticking off of the, the rope. So what we do is when uh, we tie it on we brush it and that will get them all to kind of blend together and turn it into one, one piece. So then the next step is to add the next shank. I'm just going to place it through the eye of the shank we just tied. Then I'm going to clip that into my vise. The first thing we need to do is we need to close the, the shank to secure that uh, tail onto it. And then once you have it secure, you can take your thread all the way back. You want to leave a little bit of a gap to allow the fly to articulate and wiggle. So you don't want to take your thread all the way back. And then we're just going to tie our, our minnow wrap in again and just work our way forward with it. And we're going to do that on the next uh, two shanks as well. Now once you have all these shanks tied together, what you're going to end up with is a big poof ball 
of minnow body wrap and it uh, does articulate but at this point we're ready to add our hook we're not really ready to trim uh, some guys will do kind of a pre-trimming which you you can do if you like but I like to trim it all at the end when I have everything uh, tied together so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a Tiemco 8089 kind of a bass style streamer hook and uh, I like to either use a size 10 or a size 6 we're gonna put this in our jaws here then we're just going to quickly wrap down just a, a thread base and then we're going to take some intruder wire and you can either use the small or the large for this fly either one works works just fine I use a pair of wire cutters to to trim it and work with it and what we're going to do is we're going to tie in uh, this intruder wire right on top of the shank of the hook and I leave it a little long hanging off the the front of the hook reason being I'm going to take it and I'm going to fold that front portion back and wrap over it this will keep it from coming undone on me and then you can trim out any excess with your with your wire cutters And I'm going to take my thread all the way back to the bend. Just make sure it's all really locked down. And then I'm going to take my my shanks here. And I'm going to go up through the eye of the shank. And then I'm going to leap, make a mini little mini loop at the back of the the hook here, just enough to let that uh, shank wiggle around and articulate. Then I'm going to lock it down with some nice tight wraps. And if you need to make it smaller, sometimes I can pull on it really carefully just to make it nice and small. And then again, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that wire and just double it over. Same technique I used when I tied it in. Then you can trim it out of there. And now what we have is a all our articulated shanks attached to our hook, nice and securely. And then we're ready. Oh, got to be careful with that sharp wire. Sometimes it does cut your thread, like it just happened to me. Put this pedigene bobbin. It's pretty easy to. Just re-thread it. Then what we're going to do is we're just going to finish off the the fly with uh, our minnow body wrap. Same same thing we basically did on the tails or the articulated portion of the flies. I'm just going to tie it in here right at the back. Take my thread all the way forward. I always like to orient this so everything faces back. Kind of swoops back with the fly. I always like to have my brush handy for the fibers that kind of get trapped as I as I wrap. If you're really particular, you can do a quick brush with each wrap. And I'm just going to wrap forward one wrap right in front of the other. Make it nice and dense. very easy material to work with very similar in texture to like an EP fiber but uh, since it's on a rope it's very easy to work with 
And then once we get to the end here, I'm just going to pull back some of the segments here, just enough so I can tie it off. Get in there nice and close. And we can whip finish. Then you'll add your head cement or your super glue to finish it off. Essentially what we have now is our our blank canvas. So at this point you'll want to really brush out this fly. Give it a good brushing. I spend a minute or two really working on the material. Trying to get it all to to blend together and I usually brush backwards kinda of get everything to lay back there are gonna be a fair amount of trapped fibers so that's why we're we're brushing it and with this uh, synthetic fiber you can actually brush it pretty pretty hard and uh, not hurt it it's pretty durable stuff so all I do is just pick out any loose fibers and then comb it all back and then you're ready to start to to trim the fly and you want to trim it to the shape of a fish so I like it to be a, a wider profile, a taller profile and then skinnier on the sides and I'm going to use the the Petagene long loop scissors for this uh, it's just a little easier to use a, a longer looped or a longer bladed scissor kind of get those nice long even cuts and what I do is I, I start at the front and I gently taper the fly down towards the back and I just kind of shave off little by little it's best to just take it in small pieces rather than taking any big chunk out at once and uh, you can take it off the vise if that's easier for you or leave it on the vise either either way whatever you're you're comfortable with and for the tail what I'm gonna do is I'm kinda gonna notch out a small tail here at the back a fish shaped articulated fly and if you like it a little bit beefier I'd say this is probably more on the the beefier side you can uh, leave it as so. If you like it a little smaller, you can go in with some smaller scissors and and trim it down a little bit. But essentially, now what you have again is your your finished uh, canvas, and uh, you can color it at this point. You can take markers to the body. Uh, the one thing we will do, we will add some some eyes to the fly. I'm just going to put it back in the, the vise. I'm going to like to kind of lay it on its side. And I'm going to use some living eyes. You can use whatever color you want. It's just personal preference. I like to use a fairly large sized eye. A 8 or a 10 millimeter. But uh, again, you can use anywhere from a 6 to a, a 12 millimeter or 10 millimeter. You can really do whatever you want. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some zap a gap and I'm going to add a, a generous amount to the spot where I'm going to place my eye. And then I'm just going to take an eye off of the patch and uh, place it where I want it. And then I'm going to firmly press down, hold it there for a few seconds. Then my eye should be in place. And then I'll flip it over. And I'm going to try to line these eyes up so they're roughly in the same area of the fly.
I just kind of eyeball where I placed it. Then I'm just going to kind of place it where I want it. And before I really press down on it, I'm going to line it up both uh, horizontally and vertically. Once I have it all lined up, I'm just going to squeeze them both together. There we go. And then my eyes are in place. And then, like I said, at this point, you can take a marker to it and marker the fly up or you can leave it as is just completely white but it is a completely articulated fly pretty pretty neat little fly and it has a lot of action to it when you strip it and you can find all the materials to tie this fly including the minnow wrap and a fish skull shanks on our website in the riffle.com if you're watching this via YouTube you can uh, find the link to our website below this video in the description section and uh, that link will take you to uh, the page for the recipe and materials for the fly. And that is the Game Changer Streamer.